The role of public health uh, in a disaster like Hurricane Sandy can be a lot of different things. Um, we were responsible for coordinating between the federal, state, and local governments and their various partners, um, both in the public health arena as well as across uh, the different sectors, such as emergency preparedness environmental protection, um, and transportation, for example. Um, but fundamentally, our focus is on ensuring health, um, making sure people are protected, um, and making sure that the health care delivery system is functioning appropriately and meeting people's needs. In advance of the storm, we started having routine and regular communications via conference call with many of our local partners. That included our local health officers across the state of New Jersey, both in the local communities and municipalities as well as county level. We started communicating with our health care systems, our uh, medical command centers that are regionally placed, as well as our health care associations that represent long-term care, hospitals, home health, and other sectors, as well as our emergency uh, medical system, so EMS and other first first responders in the community. We began to evaluate what kind of assets would we need to bring into the state. Um, so for example, we put out a request for other states to send um, EMS support to New Jersey and, and by the end of the storm we had received uh, support from five other states across the country as far as Indiana, um, sending both uh, individuals as well as ambulances to New Jersey to support our EMS effort. The collaboration for public health is so important because no issue is by itself in a silo. So when we were looking at um, the problem of flooding, not only does that affect transportation to and from the area and physical damage to the, um, the, the housing, um, but it also affects just the mental health of individuals. And so each one of those sectors is really governed by a different part of either state or local government. And we all impact each other. So just by way of example of something that we didn't necessarily anticipate as a health care issue was the gas shortage. So as a result of uh, the storm, there was a gas shortage experienced by the region both in New York and New Jersey. Um, it was so important for the Department of Health and our health officials to um, be at the table and talking about the solution um, so that we were sure to prioritize our health care workers for that priority gas in the beginning. Because without getting our healthcare workers to and from uh, work, to the hospital, or at home healthcare uh, locations, we were going to experience a much more dramatic impact at our shelters, as well as at our hospitals, where people who weren't able to receive that care at home uh, would then end up in our emergency rooms inappropriately. Another area where we saw um, significant collaboration with public health as well as some of our other partners was on sheltering. So uh, our local health officials were very important in terms of providing support in our medical needs shelters, but even our general population shelters, which is not necessarily in the purview of traditional public health, that is very much in human or senior services efforts. Um, but if the medical personnel wasn't at that general population shelter, when people who were showing up with just minor medical conditions maybe it's an oxygen tank that they just needed to plug in because they've been out of power for a few days. Um, those general population shelters did not feel comfortable handling that kind of patient and then sent those patients to emergency rooms. So if we were well coordinated, we were able to care for those patients in an appropriate setting in a general population shelter. But I think one of the things that you learn from every single experience um, is that it's never as exactly the same. It's never exactly as you predict. And one of the great challenges of leadership is to be able to um, modify your strategy as you're moving forward, think a little bit creatively and outside of the box, and make sure that you're coordinating and communicating with all the right partners so you're managing through those correctly.